Did you know that hidden beneath the surface of teaching and learning lies a secret world of influences and manipulations? Today we're about to lift the veil on a controversial theory that sparked intense debates in the world of education. Let's take a look at B.F. Skinner and his idea of behaviorism. Hello, I'm Dr. Yuling Lee, an education professor, and welcome to this channel where we dive into different educational ideas. Links to all research are included in the video description. B.F. Skinner was an American psychologist and the Edgar Pierce Professor of Psychology at Harvard University. He's considered the father of behaviorism, the idea that learning is a function of change in overt behavior. Skinner believed that the best way to understand behavior is to look at the causes of an action and its consequences. Quote, The consequences of behavior determine the probability that it will occur again. Skinner's theory of operant conditioning is one of the most important aspects of his approach to behaviorism. Based on his scientific experiments, Skinner tested mice to see how they responded to different kinds of conditioning. Skinner discerned that behavior in the mice would change through the use of reinforcement, which could be positive or negative. Positive reinforcement involves rewarding good behavior, while negative reinforcement involves removing something unpleasant when good behavior occurs. Skinner believes that this type of conditioning could be used to teach students new behaviors and skills. Skinner's behaviorism has faced its fair share of critiques. Some argue that it oversimplifies human behavior and neglects the role of cognitive processes. Others worry that excessive use of rewards may lead to external motivation rather than intrinsic learning. Skinner does address these concerns by emphasizing that reinforcement should be used judiciously and that intrinsic motivation can be nurtured through reinforcement of effort, not just outcomes. Despite the critiques, Skinner's ideas have found numerous applications in education, especially in the area of behavioral and classroom management. Here are some of the ways his approach has influenced teaching and learning. Positive reinforcement. Praise, when done correctly, is helpful to help reinforce a desired student behavior. This can be done in praising the student for putting up their hands, or using check marks, or stamps that reinforce why the work deserves praise. The key thing to know is that positive reinforcement is used to change a behavior for a specific time, not forever. The goal is for the behavior to become a habit. Since not all students will react to positive reinforcement, trying different methods might be needed, especially for students with challenging behavior. Negative reinforcement. Skinner preferred using positive reinforcement, but sometimes it might not work well. In those cases, negative reinforcement can be an option. It's important to understand the difference between negative reinforcement and punishment. Punishment might stop a behavior briefly, but Skinner believed that operant conditioning is about changing behavior, which he thought negative reinforcement is better for. Negative reinforcement aims to make a desired behavior more likely by taking away something unpleasant or avoiding negative behaviors. One example is that a teacher might not give homework if the work is done during class. By not giving homework, students might do more work in class. But remember, this might not work all the time if the school has a rule about homework. Another example may be that students don't follow playground rules with equipment, such as soccer balls. If fights happen often, the soccer ball could be taken away for a while. This could make students behave better when they know the ball might be taken away. When the soccer ball comes back, they might act better. Another way Skinner's ideas are used is through schedules of reinforcement. If you change how often a behavior gets rewarded, the behavior can change too. For example, when a teacher introduces a new topic, they might use continuous reinforcement like praise at first to keep students interested especially if the topic is tough. This can motivate students and keep them focused, but it's a short-term plan. The goal is to gradually use intermittent schedules, then eventually stop relying on rewards altogether. Thanks for joining me today on this exploration of Skinner's behaviorism and its influence on education. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. As always, feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Until next time, happy learning!